let's back up AutoExpress. So let's open it up first. So now you see I have email messages in AutoExpress and my contacts, they're very important. I want to keep them. And also, I want to keep my uh, email account settings in AutoExpress. So I go Tools and go Accounts. This is my account. Okay. Um, is that the easy way to keep your uh, keep my email account settings? So I highlight this email account name and go export. Export to my G drive. So I go my computer and go G drive and go backup. Okay, and go save. Okay, and uh, all the email account settings in this account has been saved into one file on G drive. Okay, let's double check. We go to desktop. Click on here, desktop. We go to my computer, G drive, backup. Okay, this is a file. It has all my email account settings. Okay. But in case this file is corrupted or something is wrong with it, so in case we need to we still need to recover the email account settings, so we better write down all the email account setting details. Okay, so in this way we won't rely on this file only. Okay, we close this G drive. Okay, now we're back to AutoExpress, the account settings. Okay, we double click on this email account. Okay, now I got all my settings in here. So I write down everything here. Name, email address, servers. This is the most important part. The usually users they they cannot remember their incoming mail server and outgoing mail server, so you better write this down. Pop three mail server, SMTP mail server, write it down, okay. And uh, account name and your password if you can remember. So I go cancel, and I go close. Good. Now I'm going to record all the email settings into one file. Okay, I go start, programs, accessories. Um, let's use Notepad. Okay, so my incoming mail server is pop three dot. Express I'll see outgoing mail server SMTP dot testpress dot CA and my account username is Jack. Okay the password is one two three four five. Okay, it's the account username. We're gonna save this file on the G drive. Okay, go file, go save as, and um, let's save in to G drive in backup folder. Give it a name in here. Let's say email account. Go save. Now we can close it. So now we're going to back up the email messages and the address book. Okay, address book. It has all the contacts in here. To back up the information in all its press, including the messages and um, the contacts, uh, we need to close all its press first. Okay, close it. So we right click on start. And go explore. Kay. Now the profile folder has been opened automatically. So we so we go local settings here. Underneath this folder's name, local settings. And go application data identities. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good. 
those are those are the messages in AliExpress. You can see inbox, outbox, send items. They're all in here. So we go up level. So we will copy this folder, AliExpress, onto G Drive. So we highlight it. Right click on I'll try again, give me a second. Right click on AliExpress. Go copy. And we we can close it. Okay. My computer and G drive backup. Okay. Um we can right click on the white area and go paste. Alright. Now the outlook Express has been copied to all its files folder has been copied to G Drive. This folder has all the messages. We can double check. Yeah, that's those are the folders in all its files. Okay, now we have to back up the address book. It has all my contacts, so we can close this one. So we right click on Start Explorer. Okay, in this profile folder. Okay, we go local settings, application data, and uh, Microsoft. Oops, it's not in here. Close. It's in here. Underneath, right below the profile folder, you see application data in here. Double click and go Microsoft. Here it is, address book. So we're gonna double click on address book. Here is all my contacts. Okay, I double click and check. Mm, okay, good. No. Yeah, that's all my contacts in here. Good. So we find the the right file, which is the address book file. Okay. So we can right click on this file and go copy. Now I close it and go to G Drive Backup folder. I will paste in here. Okay, right click on the white area and go paste. Now we got the address book. It has all my contacts in here. The file's name doesn't matter. It can be something else on your computer. Okay, so double check. Yeah, that's the one. Good. So close. Now we finished AliExpress backup.